you are working towards your goal. Whatever is your final outcome, what you are, you're taking the hit right now. But don't you also think it's never too late to do anything or it's never too late to start something? Hello, wanna come? Taking safe risks. Hmm. The word contradicts itself, right? What yeah. is a safe risk? Hmm. Yeah, you wanna be a computer scientist, but the internship might be web developer. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, you wanna be a, a, an optometrist, but you might first be a, a clerk at the doctor's office, right? Those are safe risks, you know? It's not the job you want, it's not your end destination that you want, but it's helping you go in that journey still. Yeah. So it's a, it's an oxymoron, the term of safe risk. Risk means something can go wrong, right? Did you want to talk about that? Yeah, safe risk. There's a yeah. time when you can be really risky, <coughs> but then there's some safe risks you can take. Well, a safe risk is if it doesn't work out, it's okay. You gain something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Totally. I think let's let's talk about safe risk in, in and I'll give you some of my own examples. All right. Uh, and safe risk, as you mentioned, it's very, very contradictory. I would rather say a calculated risk. I would say it's not even a risk, but you are working towards your goal. Whatever is your final outcome, what you are, you're taking the hit right now. Take a lower position or a lower role, or even if you're in a startup journey, delaying the startup journey uh, so that you're accumulating as many skills as possible. Interestingly, what happens is uh, this is in uh, I landed in the US in 97 and uh, the moment I'm out of the airport I'm talking to my friend hey I want to be on the entrepreneurial journey and I know about this uh, industry so very well I've worked only for six months that's the overconfidence what you have at that age yeah. right and I'm, I'm bubbling with confidence in every startup idea you will always have this confidence that this is going to be uh, an uber successful product and this yeah. is incredible because it's your baby and we got to feel that way uh, but what happens is we don't understand the reality check right and only when you go through again it is so important to go through uh, several pitches and investor meetings and that is when you get the reality check what is the addressable market size what kind of revenues are you looking at what kind of cash is required to build this product and get to the next level but so i come out of the airport and i talk about this to my friend he says you just landed it's okay take it easy all right get to understand this and still that energy and enthusiasm is there all right and it's the burning desire that i want to do something really quick so i go on to take up my first job and i'm there um, for about three years with that firm and then at the end of the third year I'm thinking about again with a bunch of friends thinking about doing a startup and starting a firm and things like that but then there's a lot of setback which happens what had happened around that time frame and then I get the next job right the next job the with the first job what I had done I felt confident that I can start an entrepreneurial journey but very little did I realize that only when I took the second job it was a pure play sales job right and I knew only one part of the business and I took up a sales job that's when I understand oh Oh my God, if I had started back then, I wouldn't have known anything about this, which is so important to start a business. And then I had to run the whole firm. Then I was thinking, oh my God, now I know about how finances are run and how do you build leaders in the organization. I, I got that holistic experience because of the intention or unintentional delays, because which happened. Safe risk you took. I think it is because of the safe risk. I was okay. It just did not happen at that time, but I think I would call it a safe risk. Stalling that project, getting a additional skills and then getting to the stage where I was able to get enough skills to do it. But don't you also think it's never too late to do anything or it's never too late to start something in the sense you, you could have just, I can connect the dots very well now what you're talking about. Yeah. All right. And I, I think that theme sets in very well when you talk about safe risk, right? And I, I want our audience to comment as well on safe risk. I see many a times young uh, interns, they would say, hey, you know what? Yes, I'm interested in this, but as long as it is not a paid internship, I will not do it all right or they would say hey i'm interested in this but this work is not too interesting but i don't have any other opportunity as well when you don't have any other opportunity is it okay to wait for another 90 days or the entire losing out the internship for that for that particular year or to take up something which can where you can produce some quality work it may not be something which is up to your expectation but you've you've done something credible for a large organization where you have a logo behind and, and you're able to say that hey you know what yeah. I've done some great work. Chef Gordon Ramsay yeah. started by washing pots and pans. That's where you start. Yeah. People need to understand that. Even yeah. you, you started as a recruiter. Yeah. Right? You have to start somewhere. Absolutely. Take a safe risk. Yeah. You know? Absolutely. And unsafe risk is I won't go for the job until I get that exact that job title that I want 
you know. Oh yeah. And, that's it, and that's if you're making a wrong risk. I think a lot of people do that, and I think it's fun. It's a coaching moment yeah. for people who are thinking on those lines. You know, you want to think about how is it that I get the first opportunity, first break, get into it, get my hands a little wet, all right, and then uh, t- get to the next step. Take those safe risks, accumulate safe risks, yeah. which is a gathering or a collection of many, many experiences. What you get as a result of which you end up at a spot what you're really aiming for. Yeah. Right. You yeah. won't be Bill Gates day one. Yeah. You can start by at least learning something on a computer. I agree. <laughs> Suddenly. <Okay. laughs> My last last riff. Sure. Okay. And I'm just gonna say the sentence and I'm gonna ask you to elaborate. Sure. Okay. Money is a tool, not a destination. Can you elaborate on that? <clears throat> Money is a tool, not a destination, yeah? Earlier on in your career, right? Because nobody spoke to me about it, right? Earlier in your career, you think that because you don't have a nest egg, right? Yeah, you don't have a nest egg. You have family, you have young children. You you think about, okay, I want to make more money so that I can feed the family, I can, can take care of things. I can meet the immediate family requirements, all right? So you start chasing money. And then over a period of time, as you get to that place where you, you are making a reasonable income, where you're able to live comfortably, well, then money, it's not a destination anymore. Initially, it is a destination, but after that, it's not a destination anymore. Money is a tool. How does it become a tool? A tool which can be, you can use what you've earned, the money which you're earning, to put it to the best possible use to create opportunities for people, to help others, to do many, 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 many other things, to start projects, whatever you want to do, right? Uh, Which actually helps communities and people. And it's a tool which can change the world. That's the way I think about it. And in my own journey, I've, I've gone through that very exact experience. So if you're thinking that you're chasing money right now, there, there's no, I, I wouldn't say it is wrong or I wouldn't say it is bad, but you've got to fundamentally change your mindset because the as long as you work hard, you are going to make it. But you want to start thinking right now that how can it be a tool? Yeah. Right. Uh, it, because eventually you are going to make everybody is going to make money if you just work hard and if you put your mind to use. If you chase money, your ceiling in life yeah. will always be lifestyle entrepreneur. Oh, certainly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 If, you, if that's your ambition is I need this number in my checking account, your, your life bar ends here. Yeah. You know? But I've, I've, I've thought about that uh, as well, Avi, uh, when I was, uh, because, and I want to be true to that answer, right? Um, when I was uh, about 30, I was thinking, okay, how much do I need that I can retire? And I'm thinking about it, laughing at it right now. I was thinking, oh, if we had, if I had about $100,000 or $200,000 or $300,000, half a million dollars in my account, oh, you know what? I'm going to be just, that's it. Yeah. I'm done. But when, when I think about it right now, it was so premature because there is so much more to it right and uh, that could be your first step that could be your first step because it gives you the drive that I want to have that all right it gives you the foundational stability but you want to start thinking beyond that because you definitely have the potential all of us have the potential to go above and beyond that but don't think that as a tool that cannot be money cannot be the only driver money can be used in a way that it can exponentially help you grow and help others grow as well yeah it is not a destination yeah it's just not yeah you know it can help you get there but it's yeah. not a destination destination is a place yeah yeah money is a thing so true okay your thoughts and comments will help us create more content which is going to be impactful for the time what you have invested i am forever grateful